What is up, preteen families, So Hills kids, K3, and everyone in between? Thank you so much for watching today's video. We've been talking about a lot of the prophets, and today we're going to look at a lot of the uh, miracles Elisha performed as a prophet for God. We're going to look at the warnings um, and ultimately the grace of God in our lives. I am super excited about that. So we've got the Bible story video, and then we've got a cool little questions from kids video for you guys to watch. Um, so I will see you guys after that. Elisha was a prophet to the people of Israel. One day, a man brought him 20 loaves of bread. Elisha told the man to give it to a crowd of a hundred men. The man was confused, but Elisha said, the Lord says there will be enough. So the man gave the bread to the crowd and everyone ate. They even had some left over. Another time, Elisha healed a man named Naaman of a serious skin disease. Naaman was the commander of the Syrian army. He had gone to the king of Israel to ask for healing. The king of Israel said, Am I God? Do I have the power to give life and take it away? Why does this man think that I can cure a skin disease? The king of Israel could not heal Naaman. The power to heal comes only from God. Elisha, ah. the prophet, called Naaman to his house. Naaman stood at the door, ready to be healed, but Elisha didn't come to the door. Instead, he sent a message to Naaman, go wash seven times in the Jordan River. When Naaman went to the Jordan River and dipped himself in the water seven times, his skin was healed. Yay! Naaman and all the people with him went to Elisha. I know that the God of Israel is the one true God. Naaman said. On another day, Elisha met with a group of prophets at the Jordan River. The prophets were cutting down trees by the river when an iron axe head fell into the water and sank. Elisha cut a stick and threw it into the water, and the iron floated back to the top. Elisha's miracles showed that he was a prophet of the one true God, and that God's words were true. In a greater way, Jesus' miracles show that he is the true Son of God. Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Sebastian from Oakland, California ask, Does God still heal people today? What if he doesn't? That is a fabulous question. God healed people in the Old Testament. We, we read it in scripture how God uses his marvelous power to heal people in the Old Testament. We also see that God heals people in the New Testament of scripture. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And he has not lost the power to heal. And because he's God and he is sovereign, he can heal whoever he wants to, whenever he wants to. Now, that's a great follow-up question too. Like, what if he doesn't heal? Well, it's important for us to know that if God doesn't heal, number one, that's just in God's Wheel. And so my encouragement to all of my little listeners is to pray for the ability and the capacity and the strength to deal with God's will when God's will is different than our will. I also want you to know that he uses our, our hurt in miraculous ways to show us his love and his compassion and his might. We should pray and ask God to heal. Now, maybe you're thinking of a family member or a friend with something as simple as a cold, or maybe you're thinking of someone with a more serious disease or illness. I want to encourage you to pray and ask God to heal them because he performs miracles. What miracles did Jesus perform that showed he is God?
I hope you guys enjoyed those videos and had a blast. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.